I woke up to a very interesting discussion happening while I was scrolling through Twitter on my phone trying to kill time because yesterday I thought it was a good idea to eat two unwashed grapes, a blackberry, and a big ass hairy strawberry. Thanks James for answering my anxiety filled questions to figure out if I'm going to be okay after eating unwashed fruit because apparently you're supposed to wash them in the warm water or else you'll end up like me. Stomach pains on the toilet for an hour reading dumb Twitter drama. And this isn't a VTuber specific drama per se, but I saw a lot of VTubers commenting on this person's post. Maybe it's because the person who made the post is also a VTuber, or maybe it's because I've seen VTubers share their opinions over another VTuber's emote in chats for like the last three years now. <sighs> Man, sometimes when I make these videos, I feel like that Anka meme where I'm just looking down on people, which is uh, kind of funny because remember last week when I almost accidentally leaked my new gamer subs cup? Well, that's because it was meant to be shown for today's video. See, look, we have a new waifu cup of gamer subs called Egyptian, which will be free with any purchase of 100 100 serving tubs, so make sure you use code MARI for 10% off your entire order. Get yourself some merch and drink up because you're gonna have to have your arms crossed like this while we go over the rest of this video. Like, I think this discussion comes up every other month throughout the year, and I find it interesting because I have never seen a single VTuber or streamer actually say that they don't like seeing people use someone else's emote. Like whenever people make posts like these, I never see or hear someone actually say that. Usually whenever this topic is brought up, I see massive amounts of support from people saying you should use other people's emotes. I also see people talking about how this feels like a huge red flag if another streamer is that insecure over an emote. And I find this whole that's a red flag and insecurity discussion to be very interesting because to me, it almost feels like a double standard and I'll explain why in a moment. Because I see so much support for people buying another VTuber's merch or using another person's assets. Like, we all know the importance of creating and promoting our artists, right? But sometimes VTubers don't like doing any of that because they don't want other VTubers copying them. Like, there is definitely this weird thing going on in the VTubing scene where people get so weird about seeing other creators' stuff, but I usually don't see anyone actually admit to not liking or not, or they're just getting upset about seeing someone else using another streamer's emote in their chat. And I'm usually pretty good at finding clips of streamers talking about this kind of stuff or admitting to being uncomfortable about that. And I think this is important because it feels like there's this huge issue with streamers not establishing boundaries with their chat. And more often than not, I feel like the reason why we see this stuff blow up on either Twitter or Reddit is because the creators in question do something really uncomfy on stream due to frustration and lack of setting boundaries in a polite way. Now, I'm not saying that OP is lying or anything, but I do think it's weird how these types of streamers exist, and yet I've never actually seen it happen in the eight years of me being a Twitch streamer. But you know what I have seen in a live stream? I have seen a streamer specifically a VTuber, talk about how they do not want any other VTubers names mentioned or talked about in their chat. Now, this no name other VTubers name in my stream is a pretty common VTuber rule and a lot of corporate VTubers also have this in their stream too. And I noticed while looking over people's rules again, they changed it from VTuber to streamer, which means now that any other streamers cannot be mentioned in their chat. And seeing this new rule change and kind of like seeing all this integration has kind of made me start to wonder, why is the emote rule such a bad thing but we're okay with the no streamer rule. Hmm? This is what I meant when I had said double standard earlier in this video. I used to think it was on the same level as weird until I had something like that happen to me the other day on my own live stream. You see, I have a similar no mentioning other streamers name rule, but mine is a very specific rule because in general, I don't care if people bring up other VTubers or streamers in my chat, especially since my entire content and brand is around talking about my life as being a virtual content creator. I also don't care if people in my chat use other VTubers emotes because it inspires me a lot to get my own emotes like that, especially if I like that emote. However, if I'm playing a game like, I don't know, Animal Crossing or something and someone randomly just starts bringing up uh, how they love this random VTuber or how they tell me I should check out this VTuber they like and they just keep spamming this other creator, then I'm going to get annoyed. Because in no way, shape or form was the current topic being discussed about VTubers or whatever the creator that they're 
yapping about on. Like, I'm just playing Animal Crossing, bro. Ask me a question about VTube and chat with me about food. There's only 20 of us in here anyways. Like, do you really think promoting your corpo Oshi is going to make all 20 people here suddenly leave and go to whoever? Like, my stream is not a hub for you to promote your Oshi, especially not for free. So if you want to promote your Oshi, then become a YouTube member and actually vote on the polls when I go to make my next video about a particular VTuber. Because then that's the perfect time to get me to check out another VTuber's content. Looking at my own personal experience, which really wasn't that big of a deal, it was more just weird and annoying, but I think maybe the reason why streamers get upset over chatting using other people's emotes or VTubers getting upset when other streamers are being brought up in their chat is because it could potentially derail the current topic being discussed and worst case scenario, it could cause unwanted drama between communities and the two streamers because remember we're just entertainers trying to provide value and that can be really hard to do when you as the creator start feeling bad because you have all these random chatters talking and discussing about other streamers and it feels like they're not even paying attention to you maybe it might feel like they're just using your stream to promote and kill time until their favorite streamer comes on which i have had someone say in my chat before they were like yeah i'm just here killing time until this vtuber gets online oh look they're online now see ya and i remember i was like yeah have fun in their chat and I acted like I didn't care, but I very much did care since, well, it kind of felt like it was unnecessary to say. But I know calling that person out could potentially cause drama between me and that other VTuber because a lot of VTubers like to cause unnecessary drama whenever it comes to their viewerships and like their community. And I just don't want to deal with that headache because it's just not worth it at the end of the day. I have people who will sit there and watch me. They use my emotes and chat and we all just kind of vibe and enjoy our time together. I've learned over the years that all this petty jealousy over other people's emotes or VTuber names being mentioned in the chat doesn't actually matter in the end. Even though it is annoying to see, especially if your chat isn't moving that fast and you're just forced to sit there and just stare at that awkward message, you have to remind yourself that the people you are entertaining don't know what your boundaries are and if this stuff genuinely makes you uncomfortable, then doing polite reminders is fine, but you should never insult or make a huge deal out of it to the viewers because two things might happen. One, you'll lose viewers because nobody likes being yelled at. It's very uncomfortable to watch. And two, some people are just assholes and will keep doing something if they know it bothers you because they like getting a negative interaction out of you. So it's better to just give people a warning or have a moderator give them a warning and then just ignore it entirely. Like, I'm sorry for OP for having an unpleasant experience. I think the streamer or moderators could have done a much more polite job at saying, hey, can you just try using just Twitch emotes in chat or something along those lines instead of just saying, you're going to get banned if you ever do that again. And then just flat out ignoring that person. Like that's a shitty thing to do as a streamer and you're not doing your job correctly at being an entertainer if that's how you respond to a chatter breaking your rules, like grow up. That's not how you keep viewers around by the way. And not only are you losing that viewer and having them write a whole tweet thread about you, but you probably lost other passerby viewers because if I saw that, I would never watch you again based off of how uncomfy that was. Overall, it's your stream at the end of the day. You can do whatever you want, but if you actually want to be successful and not have people going around making tweets about how uncomfortable their experience was with you on stream, then here's some advice that I was given when I used to struggle with setting boundaries with my own chat. Be kind to your viewers. They took the time to give you a chance and if they slip up and accidentally break a rule, then be polite when you remind them of your rules and use a three strike system where if they keep purposefully doing it, then you can be more stern and ban them. Viewer etiquette is not one and the same because it differs from every community. And if you would like me to make a video talking more about viewer etiquette, especially in the VTuber sphere, because it is very different compared to IRL streamers, then let me know in the comments down below. I've been seeing a lot of you request videos on collab etiquette and making friends in VTubing, but I often wonder if any of you are interested in videos that revolve around the community, aka viewers who are sitting there watching you because they're kind of an important part to this entire ecosystem that we're all existing in. Also, if you want to download my red flag emote, then I made this one for free. And I'm also selling the emote base for this. So if you want to customize and put your own like character on it, then you can get both of them on my coffee. Or you should see the listing of it down below this video in my store. And if I look and sound different today, it's because I literally feel like sh 
from that unwashed fruit. I am still like running back and forth into the bathroom constantly while trying to film this. And I just don't have the brain cells or mentality to keep up the whole like, let's sit down and have like a really cool, fun, awesome discussion. This is like, this whole thing was just kind of BS and I'm just like, I'm so over it. <laughs> Regardless, thanks so much for watching and remember, everything reminds you of something. Bye. And you know what? I'm gonna just say it. Animal Crossing for the GameCube is the best Animal Crossing game ever. Fight me, Baka.